Hi, this is Reggie from Answer of Hope. We have a Bible question for you. I have a question about modern healers and modern prophets. Uh, do we still have modern healers and modern prophets today? Well, yes, I believe we do have modern prophets and modern healers today. But uh, the question really stems from what are my thoughts on them? We have to beware of false prophets. Christ says that in the last days that there will arise false Christ and false prophets. And so we must be aware of false Christ and false prophets, false healers, false speaking in tongues, false everything. We have to be uh, mindful of those things. You know, for every true and perfect thing that God has given us, that uh, Satan produces a counterfeit. He has the true prophets of God, he has false prophets. He has true tongues and then he has false tongues. Uh, he has the, the sheep and then he has the goats, you know? So there's always a counterfeit. But what are thoughts on modern healers and modern prophets? Well, those things do exist. And again, we have to know the difference between them. Now the Bible gives us a good way of knowing a true prophet from a false prophet, a true healer from a false healer. And I want to go to the book of Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy chapter 13, verses 1 through 5. Deuteronomy 13, 1 through 5. And the Bible says here that uh, if there rise among you a prophet or a dreamer of dreams and giveth thee a sign or wonder, and the sign or wonder come to pass, whereof he spake unto thee, saying, Let us go after other gods which thou hast not known, and let us serve them. Thou, in verse 3, it says, Thou shalt not hearken unto the words of that prophet. Thou art not to hearken unto the words of that prophet or that dreamer of dreams. For the Lord your God proveth you. you. The God is trying to test us. God is trying to test us to know whether you love the Lord. Now this is the thing here. This is about love. Try to see if you truly love God or not. He wants to know if, he really, if you really love him. So he allows these false prophets, these false healers, these false dreamer of dreams to come up to see whether or not we love him. It's all about love. It's all about love. It's about whether we love God or not. And it says here, God proveth you to know whether you love the Lord God with all your heart and with all your soul. You shall not walk after you shall walk after the Lord your God and fear him and keep his commandments and obey his voice and you shall serve him and cleave unto him. Verse 5, and that prophet or that dream of dreams shall be put to death because he hath spoken to you to turn away from the Lord your God. He has spoken to, he has, he has spoken to turn you away from the Lord your God which brought you out of the land of Egypt and redeemed you out of the house of bondage to thrust thee out of the way which uh, thrust thee out of the way which the Lord which the Lord, which the Lord, thrust thee out of the way, which the Lord thy God commanded you to walk in. So you shall put the evil away from the midst of thee. So friends, this is the thing. When you have a dreamer or a person who is a healer or anyone who claims to be a prophet, if they try to tell you not to keep God's commandments, if they try to tell you to walk away from what you know is true from the word of God, they try to get you to walk away from that, then they are not a true God, prophet of God. God has allowed the situation to come into your life to see whether or not you will obey him, you will love him, as the Bible says. He's trying to test to see if you really love him or not. Love him enough to obey him, even if someone is telling you something and it comes to pass, or you get healed by this great healer, then he comes and tells you to disobey God and do something contrary to his commandments, contrary to what you know God has told you in his word, then God is allowing that test to come to you. And if a person does this and they tell you to do something contrary to what God has done, yet their dream or their, their prophesying or their healing uh, works and it comes to pass, God is testing you. God is testing you whether you love him or not. And that the Bible says that you should cast him away, that you should turn away from him, that he should be, in, in this case, thrown out of the camp. He should, be, he, should be, um, he should be put away. This evil should be put away from you. You're not to listen to anyone who is telling you to do something contrary to God's will 
whether their dream, whether their healing heals, whether what they say come to pass comes to pass. God is testing to see whether or not you love him. So God is asking that you love him and don't follow false prophets, false dreamers that tell you to go contrary to God's word. May God bless you.